so hey guys I'm back again for another stock watch list so this is I think our fifth stock that we'll be looking at or fifth stock that we have added to our watch list and for today's stock we'll be looking at the Lovesack company the Lovesack company is an American furniture retailer so they you know manufacture furnitures but what they specialize in is modern furnitures so yeah so that is the Lovesack company so yeah ticket symbol L-O-V-E and yo let's get uh, let's get right into it so like always let's start looking at the one year stock profile for the Lovesack company and so far we look at the graph as we can see you know from September 2020 till around the uh, April May mark it has been on a trend a rising trend actually quite a quite a gradual rise you know from September to um, April May and since then it took a dip uh, to towards uh, this month of September and currently sitting at $64 as a stock price previously uh, we can gauge that it was around that 25 region I guess you know so yeah that was near the you know the low for the 52 week range and right now we are sitting right in the center for the 52 week range at $64 so now let's take a look at the six month stock profile for the Lovesack company so as we can see from March till September you know it, it actually looks like a hill you know it, it goes up all the way here stops around the the June the beginning of June and since then it took a plunge and you know and there was a sharp increase to be honest near the start of September till right now it was a sharp increase you know from around the $50 range even below 50 might be but I would gauge it was the $50 range till and right now currently sitting at $64 at a price quite similar to what it was at the beginning of um, I mean near the mid of March yep so let's move on to the one month stock profile the latest stock profile and for the past month it has honestly you know it somewhat looks like a cup shape you know this is the bottom of the cup but actually there are actually two cups here if you if you realize yeah so it um, it took a grad it took quite a steep dip here uh, around um, you know the 20th of August around there from 16th to 20th and actually quite a big dip because if you realize it was around this 64 65 dollar range and and it went all the way down to the 53 52 dollar range that is a ten dollars difference in just a span of few days a very few days and then again it took a sharp increase all the way to around the 58 dollar range 60 dollar range and then it, it, it's you know it stagnated for a bit and they took another dip uh, around the uh, again to that you know $50 range again and then it took a super steep dip you know this one of the steepest dip you know you rarely see this in uh, most stocks whereby it just took a flat flat rise you know just a vertical rise and then now it went all the way to around the $70 mark from you know the $50 mark in just literally I think just a few days you know less than less than a week I guess you know that that's how um, volatile this stock is if you can say that you know actually it's quite volatile if you look at it you know in just spent a few days huge movements everywhere and right now it took a dip and right now it's sitting at that $64 price range so yeah so let's uh, start looking at what uh, people have been saying about this stock so far so yeah, so the first article we, we took from Yahoo Finance is investors should look at these two big Thursday winners. So that was on 10th of September, so a few days back. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. So the article is saying that in that context, the huge winners of the day were especially noteworthy. Jivo and Lovesack aren't exactly household names. You know, they aren't the, the big names like your Apples, your Teslas, your MGMs, you know, all those big names so yeah but they they are wowing wall street in a way that's making a lot of people notice you know so let's let's dive in deeper to find out what is this actually uh how they're actually wowing um you know wall street and why should we actually as investors take note of this stock so meanwhile shares of lessec finished the day up 24 uh, 24 percent that was on 10th of september 
uh, that is actually quite a quite a big increase you know actually when we looked at the one month stock profile we were already seeing that there were so many uh, steep dips and st steep uh, increases so so it shouldn't be shocking right now to even see that it finished the day up you know 24 percent yeah the home furnishing specialist showed strength in its latest financials that hinted at a long growth runway ahead so what they're talking about is you know the next coming months um, you know October November December and of course not just the next few months heading to next year but you know next coming year as well that's what they're looking at as well in terms of the long growth ahead so love sex second quarter results were extremely good net sales jump 65% to top 100 million dollars year-over-year comps were up almost 40% even following a 72% jump the previous year. These are some massive uh, jumps in terms of the percentages. You know, not many uh, stocks you can see whereby you can see a 60% uh, 60% increase in net sales or 40% here, 72% there. You know, these are quite big jumps if if you just look at it as, um, as an individual stock itself. So internet sales did fail by did fall by 36% from year ago levels, but LoveSec more than made up for that by nearly quadrupling its comparable showroom sales. So in terms of revenue, actually, in terms of earnings, they're actually doing really well. You know, uh, as a as a stock as a company, you know, not just as a stock as a company, they're doing well. You can see the potential of this company in the next few years. You know, you don't you don't see many. Uh, you know if buts or you know stumbling blocks ahead so yeah even better the company reversed its year ago losses and turned in, in uh, turned in earnings of 52 cents per share higher than most analysts following the stock had anticipated so it was unexpected you know people weren't expecting such huge uh, margins such huge leaps uh, for this company so it's quite a surprise for everyone nearly Lovesa attributed its strong performance to a number of factors. The retailer was able to reduce its use of uh, promotional discounting, uh, you know, which contributed to the margin improvements. It has been able to negotiate with suppliers to deal with the impact of tra tariffs while also shifting its supply chain away from China and to other Asian countries like Vietnam, Malaysia and Indonesia. That's quite interesting, you know. Most people, um, most manufacturers will actually look to China, but instead of looking to China, they look tr they are looking away and heading to other, other Asian countries, um, you know, for supply. Best of all, Lovesack says its success has continued into the third quarter. So it's not just the second quarter where everyone was shocked in terms of its earnings. Now it's heading into the third quarter, and still people are expecting, uh, success, uh, you know, for Lovesack. There's good news for investors and it shows that the home furnishings company might be able to sustain its momentum. Very important, sustain. You know, it's not just uh, building on its momentum. It's actually being able to sustain, continue its growth, continue this, this rise, this surprise, this unexpected growth in the company much further into the future than many had expected. So a key point from the article is uh, we'll look at the last point for LoveSec. LoveSec also saw a nice gain on strong second quarter result. So basically, uh, what the key point is saying is what literally the article has been saying about LoveSec. You know, they had a strong second quarter result whereby not many analysts were expecting this. It was a shock for most people and even investors who actually invest in this company wouldn't have expected this strong rise uh, as a stock or uh, as, a, as a stock. So, so this is good news if we, uh, as future investors of LoveSec, are looking into, you know, trying to invest in this company. So another article we're looking at is why the LoveSec company stock surged today. That again is on 10th September, a few days back. And yeah, let's look at what the article has to say. So shares of furniture company LoveSec surged on Thursday after the company reported financial reports for the second quarter of its fiscal 2022 that exceeded expectations by a wide margin the stock the stock was up a whopping 18 percent that was on uh there was 12 30 p and pm the stock was up whopping 18 percent so we can't be surprised you know this this stock as we saw you know in their financial profiles we saw earlier whereby this stock is it takes you know huge um 
huge uphill movements and huge downhill movements you know it's not like um you know a gradual decrease here, a gradual increase there no it actually takes steep movements and if it stagnates it actually stagnates so this is a really interesting stock to look at so yeah moving on according to yahoo finance and list uh, expected love sec to report revenue of 92 million resulting in a net loss of uh, 0.03 per share for quarter two so they yeah so they reported revenue of 92 million and uh, net loss you know in terms of uh, shares uh, for quarter two but in uh, there was the expectation I'm sorry that was what the uh, Yahoo analysts expected that's why they were surprised when they realized that Lovesack generated revenue of 102 million and reported earnings per share of 0.5 to those are huge bits on top and bottom lines so this is why this is what made uh, Yahoo analysts quite surprised that wait this is actually so much different from what we were expecting we were expecting a net loss but actually they gained uh, you know in terms of per share for quarter two and and the revenue outlook you know it was a bit it was still off by about 10 million so so that is still quite a surprise so moving on, perhaps more impressive than beating analyst expectations is LoveSex growth rate. Quarter two revenue was up 65% year over year. Uh, keep in mind that this wasn't an easy year over year comparison. Sales in the second quarter last year were up almost 29%. So they were doing well. So every second quarter, they were actually doing well. They're increasing uh, their revenue percentage. Uh, so, so right now, um, even this increase is actually you know quite shocking because it's hard to maintain an, a constant increase uh, in terms especially uh, a specific quarter so it, so that's why they are they are they are quite impressed that lovesec are able to maintain this uh, annual increase in terms of the quarter two uh, revenues by its ongoing growth story investors might be getting used to after all management was quick to point out it's better than 25% revenue growth in 14 consecutive quarters. That is crazy. 25% revenue growth in 14 qu consecutive quarters. You, it just shows where this company is heading to. It just shows that this company is actually successful and they will they are continuing this momentum of success and not just stagnating or maintaining its position uh, where it is. So LoveSec management said the third quarter is off to a good start. Great news for us as future investors. Moreover, it said it's not really worried about the supply chain issues other companies are facing. <clears throat> this is good news considering demand for its products <clears throat> remains high. In fact, demand is so high that management didn't need to offer promotional pricing as much as it an anticipated. So the demand for the product is actually, is actually there. So even though there's a supply issue that many other of its competitor companies are facing, LoveSec isn't facing the issue. That's why for the start of third, uh, for the start of the third quarter, they're actually doing well because um, they are, they are not facing the same supply chain issues that other companies are facing, and their demand for their products is still high uh, from the cons from their consumers. So yeah, that certainly seems to bode well for this small cap furniture company. So the last article we'll be looking at is LoveSec quarter two earnings and revenues surpass estimates. This was 9 September. So yeah, still a few days ago, you know, older than the previous two articles. So LoveSec came out with quarterly earnings. You know, it's quite similar. So they're detailing uh, the, you know, earnings per share, uh, revenue, net loss, net gain, and similar, you know, just numbers. Quarterly earnings of uh, not 5.2 per share, beating the Zex consensus estimate of a loss of 0.11 per share. You know, that's a huge difference in terms of what analysts were expecting and what they actually got. Uh, yeah, this compares to loss of 0 0.08 per share a year ago. These figures are adjusted for non-recurring items. This quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 572%. That is crazy. That's a huge number, by the way. That's a huge surprise if you if you just look at, yeah, they just how much they increased by, their I mean, in terms of their earnings. 
a quarter ago it was expected that this company would post a loss of 0.55 per share when it actually produced earnings of 0.13 delivering a surprise of 122 so they are, this company is actually beating people's expectations beating investors analysts expectations and actually doing really well as a company their earnings show it their net gain show it their revenue shows it everything shows it and right now their stocks doesn't show it and that is what we are looking at because right now if their shock if their stock is not showing it while the company is doing well that means there will be a change coming up you know the, and we know that the volatility of the stock of this company is is actually quite you know quite a huge range so so we we can be expecting huge increases in terms of stock price very very soon you know even a couple of few days you know a couple of days not a couple of days a few days you know we can expect huge increases you might even reach 17 you know less than a week we just never know this company so over the last four quarters the company surpassed consensus eps estimates four times Lovesec, which belongs to the Zex retail home furnishings industry, posted revenues of 102 million for the quarter ended July 2020, surpassing uh, Zex estimate by 11.72%. So again, you know, making um, making surprises in terms of its revenue and all sort of thing. You know, it's just it's just not what people were anticipating and right now it's actually a huge shock for many people so this compares to year ago revenues of 62 million the company has topped consensus revenue estimates four times over the last four quarters and also love uh, love sex shares have added about 17 percent since the beginning of the year versus the sp 500's gain of 20.2 percent you know whenever whenever in any stat if you are close to SP 500, you are doing well. And right now you can see that, yeah, LoveSec is actually doing so well. You know, it's hard to compare a small company like LoveSec to SP 500. But when you compare, you know, in terms of numbers, you know, like even any, any form of number, any form of stat, any form of data, you can, if it's comparable to, you know, uh, SP 500, you are in you know in a good club you know good space you know you're doing well so yeah so lastly as always we will look at what people are saying what people think about this stock whether they are they want to purchase it or they ain't interested in purchasing it so yeah so one person said that no need to sell with next quarter aiming for 50% growth and new product soon dropping. So they are expecting a growth uh, in the next quarter. So, you know, they are, they are literally saying, why sell? Just keep. Yeah, so I feel this was one of the best earnings reports of the season. Yes, definitely for sure, you know, something that not many people expected. So future looks very bright. Two analysts raised their price targets today, one to 105, the other to 102. That's the thing, you know, people might think, wait, 64 is currently sitting at $64 as a, price, as a stock. And how is it able to reach 105? But the thing is, as we have seen, this stock, you know, it just suddenly increases. It just suddenly goes, shoots up to massive numbers, you know. In just a couple of days, it shot up from 50 to 70, 75 in terms of stock price. So so to be expecting uh, from 64 currently to, you know, 100 plus in a few months, you know, it shouldn't be something that uh, should be shocking to us, you know, what you know after after looking at how this stock has been moving for the past year six months and the past month you know most importantly so average average price target is about hundred dollars i feel that this stock has plenty of room to run higher definitely going back to 90s 50 percent growth next quarter and still a new product launch in the future quarter was something short of amazing you know everyone is just surprised you know as investors most of them are definitely happy with how the quarter went, how second quarter went, and how third quarter has already started. So yeah, so basically most of so basically what people are saying is that, you know, this this uh, stock right now is a definite buy because not many people are expecting it to stay in that sixty dollar range, sixty five dollar range. Everyone's expecting you know like eighty dollars here, hundred dollars there, 
ninety dollars there. So yes, yeah, so it's already showing good signs, and and it's literally just backing up what art, the previous articles have been saying. The success of, uh, you know, the company Love Sec, um, you know, second quarter, third quarter, and they are still expecting success, not in not just in this year, the following year as well. So, yeah, for me, uh, the reason I just the reason I added this to stock watch list today is because I am putting my money on this share, for sure. You know, and like always, you know, any share that I share, uh, any share that I share on stock watch list, I'll, I'll, I'm definitely purchasing. You know, I ain't putting no stock that I am not purchasing. So again, this is one of the stock that I will be purchasing. I'll be adding once the market opens. Uh, yeah, I'll be adding this stock to my um, my portfolio and you know, I hope you guys add it too, you know, we can see growth together. If you believe in the stock, you know, of course, invest in it. If you don't, that's up to you, you know, I, I have no issues about that. You know, for me, I have I've high optimism in this stock and that's why I'm, you know, investing in it. So once again, thank you guys if you ended up watching till to this point. Thank you so much and you know of course hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell you know to notify you for more videos you know it's daily stock watch list is on a daily movement right now that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to find stocks that are really worth investing in that has a bright put uh, that has great potential you know a bright future not just you know till the end of this year but in future years as well so yeah that's what i try to do with this stock watch list uh episodes so yeah like i said if you guys like the video you know hit the likes like uh, hit the like button if you like what is going on with this channel you know hit that subscribe button so thank you once again and goodbye